Welcome back yet again, and on to my final and possibly most awaited episode, How to Get More Sleep. Your circadian rhythm and homeostatic processes regulate this. I don't know much about the homeostatic process, but I do know that your circadian rhythm can get pretty messed up when you're going through puberty, so you don't get as much sleep. The nights I usually stay up until like 10 or 11 when I usually go to sleep around 9. Oh, I promised you how to actually get more deep sleep, so here's that. Vigorous exercise like running and swimming before bed can increase or consolidate the amount of sleep you get. Well, unless you have insomnia. Then you should exercise earlier in the day and not right before bedtime. Some worries are hiding your clock, taking a warm shower or bath before bed, or opening the window or turning down your thermostat to make the room cool. Wearing socks, a gentle yoga routine, placing your phone far, far away from your bed, aromatherapy, pee, or using a sleep or pillow mist or diffuser are also some good ways to get better sleep. Another idea is to eat earlier to avoid stomach digestion and or stimulation before bed. If that doesn't work for you, I included a proven method for actually getting to sleep from healthline.com. The technical term for this is the military method. First, relax your entire face, including the muscles actually inside your mouth like your tongue. Then, drop your shoulders to release tension and let your hands drop to the side of your body. Exhale. Relax your legs, including your thighs and calves. Then clear your mind for about 10 seconds by imagining yourself inside of a relaxing scene. In about 10 seconds, possibly with a little practice, you should fall asleep. And that's the last of the series. Thank you for sticking with me this whole week. I hope this helped you to learn something.